Hey friends, Joe the Farmer here. In today's video, I'm gonna do something incredibly exciting. This thing next to me is not a side-by-side -side or a tractor, but it kind of does some of the stuff that side-by-side -side would do. So the folks at Rocka reached out to us. They're exclusive to tractor supply. Golf carts are huge right now. And they asked us, they said, hey, would you like to try one of these things out on your farm? They do all kinds of stuff in suburban areas like you know, big houses and swimming pools in the neighborhood, but they don't really have any um, content for people out on rural properties. We have a half mile long driveway, so just getting the mail can kind of be a chore, but also, you know, we have some folks who follow this channel that have talked about getting a side-by-side -side or something in the neighborhood to have some fun with. The question really comes down to, is this thing able to really kind of handle, you know, maybe something a little bit more than just what a neighborhood would throw at you? We're here in the very, very end of the summer, beginning of fall. This morning felt amazing. Now it's feeling like, again, the sun's beating down, but but I couldn't wait to do a video on this thing and like get this out there and let you all know that this is here because first of all, it's beautiful. Like this is really, really a nice looking machine. Second of all, it's packed with features and listen, it's eight grand. It's 8,000 bucks for a side-by-side -side slash golf cart. I'm gonna do a test of what this sounds like with a noise meter. I don't really know what it's called, Audi audiometer or something like that. <laughs> I have no idea, but we're gonna see how quiet is this versus a diesel side-by-side versus a gas side by side. So we're gonna figure out like, okay, well, if you're living in a neighborhood and you own one of these things and you hunt in the fall, but you don't really wanna buy a side by side or four wheeler, like, could this do the job for you? Could you go and take the kids to the pool during the week? And then when the fall comes around and the kids are done with the pool, turn this thing into like the ultimate hunting vehicle. We will put some accessories on this thing. We're gonna make this thing really cool. If you're new to the channel, this is your first video. Make sure you subscribe. You're gonna to wanna to come back and see what we do with this thing. I'm gonna hunt with this this year. I'm gonna take this to the stand or close to the stand. We're gonna get this thing kind of set up to where it can be off-road and be reliable while we're hunting. We may pull a deer out of the woods with this thing. I don't know. Very, very excited about something like this because it's so low maintenance. There's no oil changes. There's no gasoline to carry around. We have gas cans for days. We have diesel cans for days. Right now, what I'm gonna do is I wanna walk you around it and show you what it looks like. It's so clean and so beautiful right now that I didn't want, <laughs> listen, if you park something in the barn here, it, it weathers very quickly. Um, you may say your friend, Joe the Farmer, weathers kind of quickly too, but uh, let's walk around this thing. I wanna show you what it looks like. And again, we're excited to have it here on the farm. Let's do it. Okay, first things first, company's name is Rocco, sorry, that's really sunny. Rocca. So if you don't know what Rocca is, a Rocca is a sheep that goes anywhere. It's a, you know, it, it's it's a exotic animal out in the mountains, goes anywhere. Pretty logo, but I mean, my gosh, look at that paint job. It's like Eleanor Gray from the uh, what is it? Gone sixty seconds. So this is how Tractor Supply will sell it. It's going to come exactly as it sits. It's lifted. It has these really nice wheels on there, which you guys know me. I'm not a big wheel guy, but um, but it looks really, really nice. So I think just about anyone would be proud to have something like this in the neighborhood. Um, I can't get over how nice the color of the paint is though. It's speckled. I'm not sure if y'all can see that through the camera. But the second thing is these are LEDs. So at night that uh, illuminates and looks really, really cool, which is kind of the new thing. We have other machines out here with LED lights, which I just, I think that looks really cool. Light bar comes standard. It's all wired in integrated to where right here you just flick that, flick that on, light bar is on. But it's so darn bright out here, you can't tell. But if we come in here, it's gonna come with uh, rear view mirrors. It does come with a uh, rear view mirror there, but I just don't have it on here. I took it off because it was gonna get lost. Uh, cup holders, storage, check this out. Two USB ports on each side. So if you wanna charge stuff or have a speaker, you can do that. Now, some of the other uh, golf carts that like Lowe's has, and um, I think Home Depot has them too, they have speakers built in. So you'll have some speakers like down here, but they're also $2,000 more. So for me, I'm all about those little like clip on waterproof speakers, take them down by the dock. If it gets wet, who cares? If you leave it out in the rain, who cares? It comes standard with this roof, grab bars or we used to call these things something else back in the day. Really cool LED readout you see. There's six miles on this thing. And that's probably from the factory because it's not from us. Barely any dirt on it. You know, everything's still wrapped up. Um, reverse, well, we'll get rid of that beep and we'll show you how to do that. Drive, neutral. There's no emergency brake, it just stops. Like when you stop, it's emergency brake is on. 48 volts. It does have seat belts in the front, seat belts in the back. These are for golf bags, I assume. Uh, we'll probably take these off, put a pew pew rack up here. You know, just we'll, we'll make this thing like it belongs in the country. Seat folds over, 
Now you have like a truck bed and this is insanely cool. So the charger, this, this one's, it's not a prototype. This is a production model, but they're integrating the charger into the cart soon. Uh, that may already be the case. I'm not sure, but this is, uh, can act as a storage unit, storage unit, a storage compartment, or it can also act as a cooler. So you can put, you know, drinks in there and stuff. And there's a little drain plug in the bottom, so it'll drain out. That's the model name, RGC1. But man, this thing just looks nice. So I'm keeping this in here for now. I haven't even really charged it, but it's still on 100. We just picked this up, y'all. But tell me what you think. I want to hear in the comments. I mean, are we crazy? Do we have too many side-by-sides? Do we have too much equipment here? I mean, I don't know. I don't know if you could ever have too much of too many toys, but 5,000 watt AC electric motor goes up to 25 miles per hour, independent front suspension with uh, front and rear disc brakes, which is great. 40 mile range, six eight volt batteries. You don't have to put water in these batteries. Eight hour charge time, charge it overnight. Rear beach, uh, bench seat, we talked about that. Standard with roof windshield, LED lights. Almost seven inches of ground clearance, which is huge. 23 inch off-road tires and 6,000 service centers, but a lot of these kinds of things, they don't really need to have service. I mean, it's electric. You'll have to replace the batteries at some point, but it uh, has a 24 month factory warranty. I don't know, y'all, tell me what you think. I think it's awesome. You don't see many golf carts with suspensions like that. I just think it's super cool. Such a nice looking machine. So you probably wanna know how's it ride. I uh, don't really know yet but we could take a quick ride together if you want to and talk about it. Cause here's the thing, we could ride in it and talk and hear each other. Okay, gosh, it's so much nicer in the shade. I don't know about y'all, I'm so ready for winter time. This summer has been hot. Yeah, we gotta get rid of that beep. It's torquey, I'll tell you that. It, it definitely has torque. So once you get it going, I mean, this is, it's so quiet. You can hear the gravel right now, but let me, uh, the second I get off the gravel, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna keep this volume on here. I'm not gonna, you know, try and trick you guys. This is stealth. I would think we'd be able to hunt out of this thing. Gravel picks up the noise a little bit. It goes every bit of 25. This sucker's fast. It rides so nice. It's comfortable, like tons of headroom, obviously. So we're gonna see if we can take this thing up that big hill. So that big hill is kind of like the equalizer. I have another side-by-side -side that's electric, but that's a 2017. And that thing's great. You know, we have a lot of fun with it. And we use it hunting. But the batteries in it are just about shot. So this kind of showed up in perfect timing to be able to use this for this hunting season. We're not going to cheat. We're not going. We're we're not going to give a running start. All right. So when I, if I get out, it stops itself, which is really cool. Oh, horn. We won't use that when we're hunting. So this hill, I don't know if you can see this. Slopes never do justice, but that is pretty legit when it go, you know comes to going up a hill. We're going to take this thing and just go straight up it, and we'll see how our speed gets affected. I'm positive it's gonna affect the speed. If it doesn't, then this is the best thing <laughs> best thing ever built. But every machine we've ever had is affected by, by this hill. Even gas machines struggle a little bit. Uh, it's, oh, it's turn signals too. Look at that. Go left, go right. So this is probably pretty much just about street legal. If you put the uh, rear view mirror on here, it is street legal. All right, we're going straight at the hill. It's starting, to, it's starting to have a little bit of a problem with it, which 100% expected, but will it get over it? That's the question. Yeah. Levels out, and I'm telling you that that's, it's not driving straight up, but it's not far from it. Yep. 
Yeah, we're over the hill. I mean, that's crazy. It, you know, it's not, nothing's going to fly right over that thing, but uh, I definitely need to tighten some of this stuff up. Some of this hardware is just loose for shipping, which I can fix all that. I don't think we're going to sneak up on a deer because of this hardware. So these things right here just need to be like, that's loose. You can see how loose. I could almost turn that with my hand, so I just need to get something between there, probably. Maybe a piece of, I'll take this off, put a piece of rubber between there, because that's what's making the noise. All right, so there's one other hill we're going to try this on. Yo, know, this is this is the very back of my property, so we're uh, we're far from home. <laughs> we're gonna have to trust this thing. All right, this is like a gauntlet. Look at that. And high grass. We're doing it. We're going slow, but we're doing it. steady at 9 or 10 miles an hour. This is insanely steep. The tractor is in low gear when I'm calling it this. A 73 horsepower tractor. Do me a favor. Since your buddy here just ate a bunch of ragweed, we hit a like on this video. <laughs> I would appreciate it. Everything that's making noise right now is this roof because you cannot hear out of here uh it's really nice looking i mean again anybody would be proud to own that thing and it's eight thousand dollars so eight grand is that's a four-wheeler but look at this thing i mean your family could use this thing you could tow it with any single axle trailer you could tow this thing with a buick if you wanted to it's not very heavy I'm not exactly sure what it weighs i'm pretty impressed so far i can't wait to get it dirtier and it kind of breaks my heart because it's such a nice looking machine but that's kind of what we do out here we take pretty things and we beat them up. Okay, well, I'm gonna end the video here because we have a lot more to do with this thing. I've gotta do some prep work. I wanna make some awesome videos for this because I think that this is a very, very cool thing. And again, we have all kinds of machines here. I'm not excited about this for us. Yes, we're gonna use it. Yes, we're gonna have a great time with it, but I think this is gonna solve a lot of issues for you all. I think for 8,000 bucks, if you don't have a big piece of property, you don't need a diesel side-by-side -side or a gas side-by-side, -side. this could really fit what you need. And it also has the utility to do some stuff. There's a few things that I've already looked at that I'm like, you know, these are some upgrades that could be made that I'm gonna talk about in a follow-up video where we kind of do our first impressions of it. I've, I've put no time on this. I mean, driving up that hill was the first time I've done that. Really impressed it did it as well as it did. This is gonna be something you see more of on the channel. If you're not subscribed, we'd love to have you. But this is the Raqqa RGC1 golf cart. And before you buy any of the other ones that are a couple thousand dollars more, you really kind of owe it your, to yourself to take a look at this thing because I'm telling you from somebody who has a lot of machines, it's sharp. It really is. And I'm not sure you're going to find something else for that kind of money because a Honda four-wheeler is going to be, you know, Honda four-wheeler is eight grand, nine grand. So, I mean, that that's one person. There's no storage. There's no ability to take stuff with you. The 40-mile range is limiting, but we may even see if we can't get a generator or something like that to hook it up to and see, you know, um, what a small inverter generator would do to charge this thing, how long it would take, how quiet it would be, that kind of stuff. So if you're at camp, you wanna bring this to a camp, can you charge it overnight with one of those things and still have some you know, some level of quiet or stealth in camp? So anyway, I appreciate you watching this video. If you come this far, thank you to Raka for uh, trusting us with this uh, new brand and the new adventure you guys are on. Really, really impressed, excited to do it. Again, it's exclusive at Tractor Supply for now. And if you wanna get any information about it, ask me about it, I'm happy to share with what I know. But in the meantime, I hope to catch you on the next one, Joe the Farmer. We out.